Paul Marky Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life. And as you can see, today, Saturday afternoon, I'm trying to barbecue out here, and uh, that's what's going on there. Been out riding on the bike, shot a couple things on the bike earlier today, and a few of you have said that you want to see the bike. Well, there it is. And uh, it's my only transportation, so yes, it's a nice bike, but um, it, it allows me, it's big enough that I can ride it like over to Austin and meet with the game companies and stuff. So um, that's why I've got such a big bike. Uh, anyway, so I have a, uh, a question here uh, from a guy named Cam. And uh, he says, uh, he's asking the question, do game companies actually care about their players anymore? And he says, it, it's, his question is basically about MMOs. And uh, he says that uh, they want money. And they, they, they want uh, you know, as much money as they can get out of a game before it dies. Uh, years ago, we played an MMO called RuneScape. Imagine that. In 2005, as you might not already know these days, but when all games get great, investors see it. So the investors eventually take over and ruin the game. Uh, if you take a look at the, games these, uh, the game these days, it is horrendous and they squeeze money out of our pockets and it seems the same for other MMOs too. However, if you look at Arena's, uh, ArenaNet's Guild Wars 2, uh, and it seems to be a reasonable amount, uh, but let's, let's be realistic. They're in the business for money, and that's all they want. And uh, let's see here. It saddens him that this is the case. You know, there's um, a very famous... Um, huh, I have to go back to another Ultima game. Go figure. Uh, let's talk about Ultima 9. And uh, Ultima 9 was a game that was put out too early. And that was EA was a publisher. EA is famous for having deadlines, and like at the opposite, Blizzard is famous for not setting deadlines. They're like, it'll be published when it's ready. And um, so there are two different stances on it. And if you look at the quality of games that are put out, you know, especially with like uh, uh, the PC games, uh, World of Warcraft uh, has done awesome. All the Warcraft ones have done awesome. Diablo has typically done awesome. And they have a really strong track record up to Diablo 3, but uh, I'm giving them a pass on Diablo 3 because it's really the first time that they've had some severe issues with their launch. And, and I'm giving them a pass too because it's actually a... Um, uh, the, the whole RMT thing and being able to support RMT, that is a huge game changer. And so, and I've known this for years, and I knew that they were going to have problems. But, uh, so I'm giving them a pass on it because they have to work it out. Because they don't know, they didn't ask me. <laughs> Not that I would have had all the answers, but uh, I've been doing this RMT stuff, player to player transactions, since 1997. Uh, there are not many people who have been active in the industry as long as I have on it. Toot my own horn. Toot toot. <laughs> anyway, um, then there's EA. EA puts out stuff before it's ready. And it, um, uh, they have a history of doing this. The, the programmers will tell you that they have a history of doing this. And it has caused, um, I mean, in this game, it caused me to have to reset my game. You know, in, in, in a single player RPG, the, you know, I don't want to go repeat the story again. You know, it's like, it's like this. It's like going to the movie theater and getting a call while you're in the movie theater, a page or a text or whatever, and it's something very serious, very important, and you have to leave. And so, you know, you've missed half the movie but you want to go back and see it all. So you have to pay for another ticket, and then you go and uh, uh, go to see it again, and hold that thought, or I, maybe I should hold that thought, I gotta check the chicken. I'm barbecuing right now. So, you know, oh yeah, it's, it's looking good. Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta cook some more.
nothing good though. I love my trigger. It's a convection smoker. I just love it. So you go back a second time. Well, you know, you may not know exactly what time you uh, left the movie. And because you may not have been paying attention to your watch, how many, you know, ads were running at the beginning of it, you know, previews for other movies and stuff. And so, anyway, you go right around the beginning. And you want a good seat, especially if it's a popular movie. You have to be there before it starts in order to get a good seat. So, you have to sit and watch it again. It's, and, you know, to get up to the point where you're at. Well, that happened to me with Ultima 9 because I came out with a patch. Because. If you, um, I don't remember what it was, but if you had this certain event happen, like you killed this certain person, which wasn't supposed to be killable, or something like that, that um, you actually ended up with an issue of you could not complete the game. It was impossible to complete the game because that person was supposed to give you a quest later on that you had to complete in order to complete the game. And so, <laughs> You know, I thought, okay, well, why can't they just put out a patch that makes him alive again? Well, apparently, whatever this patch was to fix the problem required, or couldn't, you couldn't then see the save games. So you couldn't use it. You couldn't load that up. You had to start over. And that, to me, killed it. I did not finish that one. And, um... Yeah, because I knew that I was going to have to do all this over again. And it's just like, I wouldn't necessarily uh, go back to the theater again. Because I know that I'd have to sit through all that again. And, and you know, a, a movie is not nearly as extreme. Because maybe, maybe, you're sitting through an hour again. Whereas, you know, with uh, this game, I probably had 60 hours into it, something like that. You know, and so, and do I want to do that again? You know, I know I could breeze through a lot of the stuff, but it'd still probably take me at least 10 hours to breeze through that stuff, knowing what I needed to do and everything. So, <laughs> anyway, um, the game companies are a business, and that's a fact. And, you know, so they got to balance, this is a great line I heard from EA, because they got to balance the the customer irritation with, uh, you know, making money. And so I got told one time that the reason that EA puts out the games the way they do, they measure something called customer irritation. And this customer irritation level is, is something that they, golly, I hate mosquitoes. They're getting on me. I was hoping maybe the smoke blowing this way would cause them to not be here. <laughs> um, but the uh, customer irritation level is something that they monitor and they push it as far as they can to make as much money as they can without pushing customers over the limit. And that to me, in my opinion, I would not run my business that way. I know that my business stuff, I have some things that cause people irritation. And that's both in our game code sales and in the video stuff and you know so <clears throat> in fact somebody told me the other day well let me get back to the customer irritation thing I don't I don't believe in that philosophy I would rather you know in in ha have as many customers that were pleased because I think that in the long run I'll make more sales um, somebody told me the other day that I needed to man up be more professional in my videos. I need to edit out every um. I need to edit out every pause and everything and that, that I really needed to step it up and that he knew I could do it. And I thought to myself, you know, there is a lot of stuff that, that I do in these videos that probably irritates you guys, but for some reason you all watch. And, you know, so is it, you know, will I get more viewers if I edit all that stuff? Or will I have more viewers if I produce more content? And because, because when I edit one of these videos, I have to, you know, what I like to be able to do is cut off the front, cut off the end, fade them in and out, and then I gotta write up my description and everything, but while it's playing, just to make sure there's nothing really dumb in it, because sometimes I do stuff that's really dumb in these videos and I wanna edit it out. <laughs> uh, but the, 
the fact is, is that if I were to edit out every um, I had another person who counted up 26 ums, and they, they referred back to a really old video where I said I would pay for ums. Well, that old video where I paid for ums, I followed it up with another one later saying, guys, this is costing me too much money. I don't have this much money. <laughs> it's just a fact that I say um in these videos. And so, you know, I try and weigh whether or not it's more positive that I were to say have one video a day and edit out everything and do a better job on editing as opposed to uh, you know, doing two videos a day and just trying to be conscious while I'm filming, you know, and be willing to make fun of myself over this stuff and everything and just integrate it into the story. And I choose to integrate it into the story. You know, this is me. And you either like me or you don't this way. But could I improve these videos? Yes. But I have, on, I, I have chosen to do more content over the quality of the content and because I think that I'm at a pretty good quality level. So, you know, are you guys so irritated that you unsubscribe? A few people say they are, but not a whole lot. And, and I know that there's an 80-20 rule, that if I please 80% of the people, that, uh, that I'll be good. And if I try and please those 20% that are uh, the ones who are so vocal saying that everything sucks so bad, then what happens is, is that it changes the whole dynamic. And so then it's still the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the people are pleased. So the people who are irritated that I say um all the time are then happy and they watch more, but the people who are, um, <laughs> there I go right there. I get more conscious about it when I talk about it. The, the people that are, uh, you know, okay with the ums, they, uh, god damn bugs, they are uh, then not pleased because I have lost some of my personality in these videos and some of my quirkiness and some of my um, being real. So, you know, uh, it's just the way it is. And now, with video games, though, you know, I want a little bit more quality, and I have expectations of a little bit more quality. Uh, you know, myself, I'm just a YouTuber, and uh, it's not like it's a television show. If this were a, t a TV show, if I were on TV, they'd all be edited out, and we'd figure out how to keep my personality in there at the same time. So, just the way it is. And... I hate how EA does it. I love how Blizzard does it. Well, you know, on the same point, you know, EA gets their stuff out on time. They have a lot of investors that really want it. And Blizzard, they say that they're gonna take their time, they're just gonna do it right. You still have the 80-20 rule there because you have all the people that say, damn, I can't, I can't, I can't stand that Blizzard is a year late with their game. So that's just the way it is and uh, uh, you know, you can't, you can't please everybody all the time, but, um, you know, I do the 80-20 rule. If I fall below 80%, I know something's wrong. So, you know, I don't know how they can apply that to, um, to games and such, but I know that I have a high expectation for games, and for myself, I'm willing to wait for the Blizzard games to come out. And, uh, you know, really, folks, I don't have Tourette's here. Um, <laughs> it's really the bugs. So I'm willing to wait for the games to come out. And, um, you know, I can be patient. I can be patient for quality. And uh, that's just my stance on it. Other people who play a lot more games than me want them quicker. And investors want them quicker. They do not have the patience. Because actually, time is money in this case that you get beyond a certain point and it does cost more money to have the higher quality to extend the time out. Uh, whereas uh, it's just the same thing on money that you can do something really quick if you dump more money into it. So maybe that's the answer. Yeah, you just need to dump more money into your games and get your investors to allow that. Just my thoughts. Hey, thanks for your question. 
Uh, those of you who have questions, I know you guys think of them all the time, and honestly, you guys send me more stuff than what I can do every day. And let me talk about this while I'm checking the chicken. So, I am, uh, I'm getting more questions every day than what I can possibly answer. I'm getting them at the rate now that it could be, I could probably do five videos a day and not repeat content. So, I just have to say that I'm having to choose the best ones. But, that's a better experience for all of you now too, isn't it? So, okay, this stuff is hot, it is spicy. This is good Louisiana, uh, Louisiana hot sauce. And um, so, there I go with my arms again. And here I go getting distracted, which I know some of you get irritated by. <laughs> but, it's just a fact that in order for me to produce this many videos, it's the way it is. So, anyway, if you have questions, message me on YouTube, and uh, I, I do read every single one. Sometimes I get very far behind, and sometimes I have, I have actually replied to people six months later, but they had a good question, and, you know, so I know some stuff is time sensitive, but I really try. And, uh, but right now, I can tell you that I'm getting more than 30 messages a day that all suggest topics. And I would say five of them a day are really good quality. And I'm just having to pick just the top ones. So, but when you're sending me a message, if you're daring enough, include your Skype name. Because if you include your Skype name, I may call you so that you can ask me the, the question on camera. We'll actually record it. Uh, also, have you tried What the Fast? I know we've been pushing it hard, but I put it at the end of the video so it's not irritating for you. I commonly don't have content after I talk about What the Fast and some of the other stuff. Sometimes I do. One of my recent videos, I actually uh, ended up talking for another five minutes after I talked about it because I thought of something else while I was doing the video. These aren't scripted. These are very off the cuff. So, anyway, What the Fast. If you have, if you have lag connection, lag problems, that it might be a solution for you. Give it a try. There's a link in the description below. It gets you a three day free trial. I know I've been telling everybody 10 days. I'm sorry, it's only three. Um, and then, uh, if one of you comment on this, uh, I, well, all of, if all of you comment who watch it, you're all eligible to win a What the Fast 30 day advanced key. It'll have all the bells and whistles and it'll last you 30 days. Make sure you accept messages from us. If you don't accept messages from us, we're moving on to the next person. If we try too many times, we're giving up. We uh, gave up on one the other day that was, we tried six times to send a message to people saying that they were chosen as the winner and we we're doing this random stuff. <laughs> well, we gave up. Uh, so also, Bust and Rush, which I'm gonna have some playthrough videos of that coming up here. If you want in the private closed beta, then uh, we're going to choose one of you who comments in here and uh, you'll uh, make it into the beta guaranteed. We're going to ask you for your full name and, and uh, email address because we're going to turn it over to Tectonic Games who's doing Bust and Rush and uh, they're going to send it to you directly. So anyway, that is uh, I think um, it for this video. Uh, do message me. I like your suggestions. It just takes me a while to get through them. I'm Marky Dragon. 